Today, I'm going to teach you an argument about the beginning of the universe called the cosmological argument that will help us answer the big question, how did it all begin? I'm going to teach you a song to the tune of London Bridges to help you remember the argument. It goes like this. Whatever begins to exist has a cause, has a cause. The universe began to exist, therefore it has a cause. The first statement in our argument is, whatever begins to exist has a cause. Let's look at a few examples of some things that exist in the world. First, a beautiful waterfall. Has a waterfall always existed? And does it have a cause? A waterfall has not always existed. It hasn't been there forever. And it has a cause. It is caused by water eroding the bank of the river until eventually a waterfall is created. Now how about an ice cream sundae? Has it always existed? And does it have a cause? Of course it has not always existed. And it has a cause. It has been made by a person. What about my dog Chip? My dog Chip has not always existed and he has a cause. He came from a mom and a dad dog. Can you see now that our first statement is true? Whatever begins to exist has a cause. Things do not just pop into existence from nothing, but something happens that causes them to come into existence. Let's look now at premise two, the universe began to exist. Scientists have made many discoveries that show that the universe has a beginning. We are just going to talk about one of these discoveries today. This is the discovery that the universe is expanding. I have a balloon with two dots on it. I'm going to measure how far apart these dots are. You can see here with my ruler that these dots are about one and a half centimeters apart. I want you to watch what happens to these dots as I blow up this balloon. Do the dots get closer together, further apart, or do they stay the same? I'm just gonna circle them so that you can see them a little bit better. So there's my two dots. You will notice that the dots got, it, got bigger, but these dots also got further apart. So let's measure. These dots are now about six centimeters apart. This balloon shows what is happening with the universe. Scientists have now discovered that the universe is expanding, which means that things in the universe are getting further apart as they move away from each other. Now, if the universe is expanding and things are getting farther apart, that means that things used to be closer together. Just like if I let the air out of my balloon. You see what happens to the dots as I let the air out? The dots get closer together again. In the same way, if we were able to go back in time, we could see everything in the universe coming back together, getting closer together into a single point, which represents the beginning of the universe. Now, if the universe has a beginning and everything that begins to exist has a cause, then the universe has a cause. This is the conclusion of our argument. Therefore, the universe has a cause. What could cause the universe? For something to be able to cause the universe, it needs to be something that is non-physical because before the universe was created, there was no physical space. It also needs to be something outside of time or something that is eternal that doesn't have a beginning. It would also need to be something very powerful to be able to create the universe. Can you think of anything that fits this description? God. The Bible teaches that God is the beginning of the universe. Colossians 1, 15 to 17 says, The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. All things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. God was there before all things. This is supported by the cosmological argument, which shows us that since the universe has that beginning, it has to have a cause. And God is the only one capable of causing the universe because he is non-physical, eternal, and very powerful. Let's practice our song for the cosmological argument one more time. Whatever begins to exist has a cause, has a cause. The universe began to exist. Therefore it has a cause.